hi this is me editing the video i just wanted to preface this video saying that this was a very random vlog like this was supposed to be the continuation of another vlog and it ended up being a vlog on itself it's quite chaotic i don't even like start it correctly so i'm isabel welcome back to my channel if you're new you're gonna you're about to see a very chaotic version of myself but i just want to put that out there because it's the real thing you know like it's okay and it's real and it's the truth to have chaotic days in which you're about to have like three mental breakdowns during the day i like to share a bit of everything in my life especially in this series that i'm doing right now and another thing that i wanted to tell you is i know this series for those of you who have, who have been here since like the beginning of this series which is called 30 days of being my best self i know that version of isabel is not really my best best self but I was reflecting on this the past few days and honestly your best self fluctuates obviously it's always going to be better to be that best best ideal version of yourself like i've been some other in some other days and i've shown you but the truth is that best version of yourself varies every day or like every couple of days every season there's some weeks in which honestly the best version of yourself is being able to get out of bed and do things and i've had that those seasons obviously again that is not the ideal situation but it's the truth and i filmed it and i said like you know what i'm just gonna share that with you guys it's still like a real me vlog and i like i like it <laughs> okay enjoy hi guys it's tuesday and just to be honest with you, this weekend, I've just been having some low days. Like, I've not been feeling my best. I've just, I don't know, it's not been great. And I think it's because of a few reasons. One of them being, I think I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be in my period like this week. And then second of all, because honestly, I feel like I was telling you this in a Spanish vlog, but February is just like being like a bomb like i was not expecting to have such a busy february it's already it's like the 14th today's valentine's day happy valentine's february caught me by surprise and i don't know just i work in retail so i feel like things stepped up like started to be more intense at my work last week i worked so much i stayed one day working until 11 p.m the other day at until like 9 p.m and two other days until like 7 p.m which is not great like that's something i really want to get away from i don't know that just made me feel overall really tired not great oh, but you know what i said like okay the first half of february was not that great but just i i don't want to keep feeling this way i'm gonna try my best to get organized that's something i'm really trying to do to be able to maintain the balance in busy months like february i need to really get my organization in point this month has helped me see so many flaws in my organization system that i'm trying to correct so i'm gonna be working on that it's already like 9 31 i need to get into a meeting i was working i just took a few minutes to film this i'll stop rambling and let's get this day together we i'm gonna keep updating you and i'm trying at least i'm gonna try and update you as much as i can i look a bit more put together i decided to change because honestly just feel like it was gonna make me feel better and it did okay, the past few days i've been working in my pajamas and it just hasn't been making me feel good i just i feel that so Today I, I mean, I still have my pajama bottoms, but at least like I change here. I'm gonna put on some earrings. And yeah, guys, so this is a besties unfiltered vlog, really. Like, I feel like all my vlogs are actually unfiltered, but um, I mean, I don't know. This is even a more unfiltered vlog than usual. It's honestly just a day with me, you know, just a real day with me. Just like my life sometimes is very organized, as you can see, very productive. And sometimes it's very low as well. Like, like my life, sometimes it's a bit more chaotic. But I'm just gonna bring you along, like on the good days and the chaotic days and a bit of everything because we are trying to be, oh my God, this, I don't know if this looks great, but whatever. I need to get to work. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this new organization system on in my Notion. 
because as I told you, I've seen many flaws on my organization system. And one thing to really, if you really want to change your habits and change like the outcome of things, you have to change your systems. I'm going to annotate everything that I have to do and just like prioritize like i'm really trying to focus prioritizing i don't know if i have this system done yet because i feel like i'm straight still trying i might let you know what i'm doing look at my desk that is not right we need to clean that like what the hell change of plans i don't really have time right now to spend like half an hour getting organized <clears throat> so I know what my one number one priority is, which is finishing a freaking report that I've been doing and working on for the past few days and I just haven't finished it. So I'm gonna dedicate from now, which is 9.38 until 11 a.m. to finish that. And at 11 a.m. I have a meeting. So after that meeting, I'm gonna get organized for the rest of the day. Once I've finished and crossed off and ticked off this number one priority. Okay, I'm happy with how the morning has gone. It's 11 a.m. right now, I have that meeting, but although I haven't done everything I wanted about on the report, like I feel like I've done a lot, I think I would say I'm 80% done or 85% done. So we can finish it today because tomorrow I have to present it. I just need to do like conclusions and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna have this meeting and then I'll continue doing this. Next time what I'm gonna do is measure the amount of hours it takes me to do this report to understand like to be able to plan better for next month and not have this like chaotic period hola que tal como estas todo bien tu honest with you guys something that i need to learn to deal with and i know that this is something very particular to my area of work to the area where my business is and the type of work that i do because i know not everybody does this but in startups people are so fucking intense like it just literally makes my heart beat like my anxiety levels be so high all the time especially my clients are just extremely intense like and i was talking with my mom about this like, you honestly have so many requests for now like you cannot plan that much ahead because everything is for today for now for this week and like that's just how it works and i mean you can try and lord i've definitely had moments in which i've gotten organized a lot more but some things are just like for now for today and people are so freaking intense like i am very intense okay i'm not gonna lie i'm a very intense person that's why i match correctly with startup life and i wouldn't like i don't imagine how more difficult this would be if i was not as intense as i am but the thing is people are also intense with me and some people are even more intense with me some of my clients are like extremely intense and like they know this they know they're intense just like i know they're intense but that doesn't make them less intense i just was in the meeting and i came out and i had like two missed calls and a lot of messages i think a challenge that i have is to learn to not let my anxiety like go up so much when people are intense with me because i just have to learn like that's the way startups work that's the way the business especially retail startups there's gonna be problems every freaking day i just need to learn to prioritize and just like be calm to, like don't feel like the world is gonna end with every problem because it's not like things get solved Oh my god, I have chocolate everywhere. I'm eating ice cream out of the tub. And I'm actually on my lunch break. But I'm not really having it, which is something bad. You know why I got stuck working? Because there's a problem that I'm solving. 
and people are answering me like I'm having a conversation so I obviously find it hard to just like stop the conversation at 1 p.m. and just forget about it I get to invest it that's the word I get to invest it into like solving problems problems and doing different tasks that I kind of forget of the bigger picture I was talking about that with my therapist yesterday and it's something that I kind of want to change like I want to be more able to see the bigger picture all the time and not get like so like focused on this like tunnel vision okay guys i'm just gonna be honest with you i'm just having one of those days in which i'm not doing well like it's not day and this terrible sound it's just making it worse. I've been in the, on the verge of crying like three times because of work because I'm having so much anxiety because of everything I have to do. There's so many things that have gone wrong today. Everything is getting to me. Like everything is making me feel awful. Oh. And maybe again, it's maybe because I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be in my period soon and I'm just extra sensitive to everything. But it's just I'm feeling very very overwhelmed and I'm trying to focus on something good so I'm gonna let you know something good like I don't want to be toxic positivity positivity but it doesn't make me feel good either to just like have a bad day and just don't try to improve because I have to improve the day like I just need to feel like I, I want to try and focus on the good things because although I'm saying that there's things that like so many things that have gone wrong there's also things that have gone right and I just kind of need to train my brain to focus on that like for example I'm about to finish the report and I think it's like I've done it really well I'm excited to present it so that's good like there's good things going on okay I had a great lunch as well I'm talking to you guys I need to congratulate myself I've had the two most like busy weeks but I'm about to finish a huge presentation still like you know I'm doing it I don't know just talking to you and reflecting with you guys makes me feel so much better and that's why I needed you you make me like try and focus on the better sides and on the positive sides and I hope this videos kind of help you focus on that as well I'm not saying completely neglect the bad parts because the bad parts exist but I don't want my brain to go to everything is wrong everything is bad I hate the world side because that is not true and that doesn't make me feel like happy It's 6.54, I've worked 54 extra minutes, which I don't didn't want to and people are, are still writing me from work but I'm just gonna ignore that, you know, like, I have an update. I, I finished my presentation, my report, I showed it to the bosses and they liked it, they told me it was really good and that just like, I don't know, it just feeds my good mood. <laughs> So now I'm happy, like I'm happy that the presentation went right. I feel like within all the chaos, all the things that are like flaming up, the fact that one thing went right, I mean, I'm going to try and focus on that because it's not only one thing, it's like a very important one thing. For now, that was it. Like, I don't even know what else I'm going to vlog. It's just been a very chaotic day. Um, I think we're slowly improving. I think at least today I'm logging off at like a bit earlier than seven last week today like a day like today I stayed until 11 p.m. working so measuring it like that it puts things into perspective and makes me feel about a bit better about myself and I think that's it like it's been a random chaotic vlog Honestly, I don't know if you stayed until this point of the video. If you did, then you are a real one. I love you so much. I love you all, even if you didn't stay until this part of the video. But, I don't know, you're extra special if you did stay until this part of the video. I don't know, I just feel like this vlog has been nothing. Like, has been me working, rambling, being chaotic. It's like a vlog of being chaotic for 24 hours straight. Like, that could be the name of the vlog. Because I feel like that's what it's been. But anyways... Some days are like this, some days are chaotic, but 
we are trying to get our shit back together. It's like being chaotic, but trying to get our shit together. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. That I recommend you check my channel and see my other videos just to get a balance of that. But you know, we have a bit of everything here. Love you so much and see you soon. Bye.